Okay, so we're going to use the quadrilateral inscribed angle theorem. And we're going to use it in with this circle, circle P, to find all of the angles and the arcs associated with those angles. So we don't know exactly what these angles are, but we have been given some information. We've got some variables. And so we're going to use those, those variables combined with the theorem to find what we need to find. So a couple of things we're going to review, make sure we remember what the quadrilateral inscribed angle theorem is. And I'm just going to abbreviate it real, real quickly. So quadrilateral inscribed angle theorem. So, okay, so very simply what it says is that the opposite, so opposite angles of an inscribed quadrilateral, they're supplementary. Okay, now remember that means that they add or they sum to 180 degrees. So it's very, very straightforward. You just have to make sure you understand a couple of things. Opposite means across from. So if we're looking at these two angles right here, I mean, if we're looking at this angle right here, R, the angle that's across from it or opposite is T. So this theorem would apply to these. However, we can't use these two angles right now because we don't have enough information. So we have one of the angles expressed as in terms of x, 8x, but the other angle we don't know. We don't, you know, it could be anything for all we know. So what we do, what we have to do is find two a, a pair of opposite angles. These are adjacent angles, not opposite. And we can use these two because these both have our, the angles are expressed in terms of x. So we can use these two. So what we're looking at is the measure of angle Q plus the measure of angle S equals 180. That's what this says in terms of a mathematical sentence, an equation. So we could do the same thing with these. However, these two, again, the problem is we can't plug anything in here. We have to, we have to replace or, or substitute the values for measure angle Q and measure angle S that we know. So measure angle Q, we have as 8x minus 5. Measure angle S is 4x plus 5. So now we want to combine our like terms and, and simplify this equation a little bit. We can combine like terms by using the commutative property. So we're going to take 8x plus 4x, put them next to each other. You don't actually have to do this step, but it makes it easier to see when you have the like terms next to each other. So 8x plus 4x is 12x. Negative 5 plus 5, these are inverse um, inverses of each other. So negative 5 plus 5 gives you 0. They cancel out. Okay, so we're using the officer, the inverse operation as we go all the way down when we solve this. So we have 12 times x. We want to end up with just plain old x. So the way you now cancel that out is by you applying the inverse operation. So 12 times x divided by 12 is going to give you the value for x, which is 15. So now we take that over here with the with with the values we have. We have 8x equals the measure of angle R. We have 8x minus 5 equals the measure of angle Q. And I'm out of space, so I'll put measure of 4x plus 5 equals measure of angle S. So I'm going to start with this one right here. 8x equals uh, measure angle R. So it's 8 times 15 equals 8 times 15 is 120 degrees. Oops, what did I put? This is R. So that's our first value. This one is just 8x, that's 120. 
we don't have to redo this. So 120 minus 15 minus 5. That's going to give you 115. And then this one, before times 15, which is 60, plus 5. And so we have the measure of angle S equals 65. Okay. So now we have these angles. And we have, so this one was 65 degrees. This one was 120 degrees. And this was 115. And we could go on and we can figure this one out too. Um, there are a couple of different ways we can do it. Let's go ahead and, and look at the arc measures first. So if we look at, let's just pick uh, this angle right here, angle R. So if we look at angle R, we know something about angle, the relationship between the angle and the arc that it intercepts. The arc that it intercepts will be twice the inscribed angle. So this one right here is 240. So the arc that it intercepts starts here. This is one endpoint of that chord. It's S. The other endpoint is at Q. And so it goes from here to here. And so if we trace that arc out, okay. So we can say the measure of arc R, we need the endpoints, right? R and Q. And then we need to, so it starts here, ends here. But we need to know, oops, I, I made a mistake. I started at S, didn't I? We're, this is, we're starting here, which is R. So you got to be, you have to be a little careful, right? Sometimes you can't be too sloppy. I was being sloppy. So we know we start at R and end at Q, but there are two paths. We can take the short path or the long path. And the long path, in this case, this is a major arc. It's more than half. So you have to know which direction you're taking. If you're, if you're going to go the long way, you need another letter in between to show you went that direction instead of the short way. So I'm going to use S. So the measure of arc RSQ is going to be double this so 120 times 2 240 degrees so 240 degrees is equal to the measure of that major arc now if we look at let's say we look at Um, this arc. Okay, we're going to look at um, this angle, angle Q. It intercepts this arc right here. It goes from R all the way to T. Okay, so if we look at this arc, the measure of R, it still goes through S, but now it ends at T. This one is matches up with the with angle Q, which is 115. 115 times 2 equals 230. So what that means is this green arc, which is RST, the measure has to be 230 degrees. So right away we can see, hopefully we can see, that these arcs, you know, they're, I guess you could think of them as being almost the same. They both start in the same place. They both go through, go the same direction. They both go through S. But the difference is one stops early. So the orange one, RSQ, is 240 degrees. The green arc, RST is 230 degrees. So then the question is, how much is left over? So how much is the measure of TQ? And so if you just think about 
up to here is 230. How much more to get to 240? Well, 10 degrees. 10 plus 240 is, I mean, two, 10 plus 230 is 240. So that's one way One way you can find these three arcs all the right, right away. So that would be TQ, 10 degrees, going from there to there. Okay, and then we can continue in that, met, in that same method. We look at angle S. That goes from T to R, right? So that's this outer one right here. This is 65 degrees. So the whole thing, 65 times 2. So that goes from T to R. Now, that's 115 degrees, right? Do we need a third letter? I mean, we can put a third letter no matter what. We can, you know, so we could call that TQR, but do we need, oops, my, yeah, okay. So we could say TQR or we can say TR. Now, which one is correct or does it matter? So remember, we need the, we're always going to go the shortest way possible unless the third letter indicates we're going to go a long way. So if we're looking at um, S and T, for instance, the short met the short way you can see pretty easily from here to here will be that direction. If we want to go the long way, we have to include one of these two letters going the opposite way. When we looked at angle R, okay, we if we're going to go all the way to to Q, we could go the short way or the long path. So if we looked at R Q. That would be the short short method. We wouldn't need the third one. Now, if we're looking at these two right here, R and T, we know that it's 115 degrees, which is less than half a circle. We don't need that third letter. However, it's not wrong if you put it in. Now, I hope that wasn't too con confusing. Um, my guess is it might have been, but just go back and just remember the short, if a minor arc, you can name, you can name with two letters. You can also name it with three. A major arc, you need to uh, name with three letters because you have to show the direction. Minor arc, RQ, that's the short path. RTQ or RSQ, that's the long path. We also know this long path was 240 degrees. The short path has to, if we add it to 240, has to give you 360. So that means measure of RQ would be 120. That's enough for now.